Hello, welcome to the stream. If you're watching this later, as always, thanks for clicking. Hey. Let's continue Wind Waker. I've been having fun with this one. Oh, cool. Alright, it left me in here. Good, I was worried. Ah, also, hey, Sandy. Just got home from a wine tasting party. Well, not not to brag, but I'm tasting a pretty good beverage right now myself. It's got uh, hints of pineapple and watermelon, and it comes in a can. Hmm. Full bodied, uh, refreshing. Uh, I don't know what else wine tasters typically say. But I'll put my pinky up. <laughs> it's, it's just... It's just, uh... Yeah, it's just a normal drink. It's fine. It's nothing fancy. When in doubt, pinky up. What, what is that from? I've heard that somewhere, but where? And I remember that this is a reminder to keep using the pinky. Patrick says it on SpongeBob. That's it. That's like some of the few episodes of SpongeBob that I've seen. I've only seen very early episodes of SpongeBob. He's like, Pinky! Pinky! <laughs> Probably not the correct room to go into, I guess. Oh no, okay, no, we got bombs, okay. Good, good work. Those were the better apps. I mean, it's it's funny because someone recently said that um much like the same way, I mean people have nostalgia for the Simpsons. People have that same kind of nostalgia for SpongeBob. And they say very similar things, like the older episodes were better and People remember complete episodes and just lines and things that happened. I, ha I don't have any fra frame of reference for the new stuff, but... Okay, that didn't work. I wonder if I should do this yet. I could probably do it. I think there's an invisible wall here. There's geometry here. Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. Hang on. Does it give me the option to sidle? No, 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 no. I, I stood on there. I stood on there. I stood on there. I should be able to do this. Hang on. It just needs to house a bomb, that's all. What if I just... Did it work? Nah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> I'm going to kamikaze into that wall. Oh. No, okay. No, I'm not- I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I just- I just saw something. This is what happens when you grow up with Zelda 1. It's like, you overlook- Wait, can I move these? 
You overlook the simple solution to try and do a convoluted one. Good enough. <laughs> it wasn't even anything major. Okay. Yeah. And I assume the same is true about here. Oops. It's not like classic Zelda, but that would usually work. This version of the hookshot has very limited uh, use. It's not OP. Alright, I guess... Oh boy. Pressure plate. Okay. What? <laughs> no, come on. There's a... Hmm, okay. Hold on. There we go. That's what I hoped a hook shot would do, but it didn't. Ah. Wait, how's this gonna work? Oh no, I see, I see, I see. I think I messed up. <laughs> it's okay, as long as I don't break this one, it's okay. Just... There we go. Should have waited. Oh no! Is this is this dungeon what I think it is now? I think we are looking at this game's water palace. I thought this was just a fancy entrance, but... Well, no.
Yeah, this is going to change the water levels, isn't it? Okay, maybe not. I don't know the <laughs> what I did, Oracle of Ages. Oh, that water palace took so much out of me. to make a path across. This should be correct. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. trying to do a spin attack. <laughs> oh, that, I hate it. I hate it. Because when you have the sword, B is swing, but with this weapon, A is swing. Why? <laughs> like, look. B? I'm not going crazy. That, that's when you have sword. And then when you have this, it becomes A. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Okay. Good. 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 Can I... Uh-oh. I may have to leave and enter the room. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, wait. There's, there's, there's another one there. There's another one there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah! I'm gonna wait. I'm going to be patient. <laughs> I can't afford to lose it again. I did get it first try. I was just complicating it. I wanted to do a spin attack to get both at the same time, but I don't think it was necessary. So where am I headed now? Are these destructible? They are, haha. Can't take my boat across. Okay. 
Uh, I'll go in here first. Wasn't what I was expecting. But I'll have to come back here later. What? these do I have? Go check it out. I feel like I have 10 now, so I might be able to go back to the island and hand them out. But now what? Camera, why? I was aiming in the right direction. Really? Okay, that's all it was. So far, this isn't so bad. Ah. OK. 
Okay, uh... Where's the rat nest? Okay. Nope, shield doesn't work. Where are the rats? Oh no. I just see. I've, I've, okay. Just realized what this is. another platform up the top. Why? I don't... Unless that's how you murder the thing below. I don't know. For now. Leave it. I mean... Take it through the door. <laughs> Seeker of the goddess guide purse, press set out to call me and guide me to place of truth. Set R. I'm pressing it. Ah, you have to be standing there. Oh. I'm 
do this slowly just in case it does diagonal pathing. Figures it out on its own. So we go, and then. But I can't see it. What is it? It's. Okay. Because I wasn't standing directly on it. <laughs> melody. My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them to guide them to their places of truth to open the path to the gods. this room ah This makes more sense now. <laughs> I wonder how many times this mechanic's gonna end up being used.
Oh, okay. What are you gonna say? It is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas which you will not be able to bring servants of the Tower, but do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they'll wait patiently at you for your return. This I assure you. Yeah, so what I was going to do anyway. So, that's fine. what the old man's training has prepared me for. You know, when you have to hit an enemy 600 times without taking damage, you kind of get good at sword fighting. Or you would hope so, anyway. Kind of figured. defeat these skulls now as well. I'm kind of hoping I'd find arrows in these. Seven, twelve, seven hundred, thirty, sixty, light three, four, under a thousand. That's pretty good. I mean, still under a thousand. <laughs> Sounding like a commercial. That's right, nine ninety nine. Less than a thousand dollars. Take that dollar. Go get yourself a cheeseburger. 
assuming you can get a dollar cheeseburger, but then you have to wait for the day that dollar cheeseburgers are on sale. Let's just... Ah, uh, it's a white thing. Okay. McDonald's app gets you a free cheeseburger. I recommend their app. Oh, no, they do specials quite a bit. But... For me, I mean, McDonald's is one of those things that it's... If nothing else is open... That's the only time I'd be getting it. I think I just complicated this. You go maybe three times a month? Damn. I don't think I even go three times a year. I mean, it used to be a pretty regular thing. I used to go out a bit more. Be like, it's three in the morning, you're out and about, nothing's open, I'll look. Yeah, that'll do. Crap. You have a McNugget addiction. <laughs> McNuggets are pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, they did these spicy McNuggets recently that were pretty damn good that I did go out of my way to get. I also learned that um, the McChicken, our version of the McChicken, or at least the non American version of a McChicken, is just a giant McNugget. And apparently that's not the case everywhere, like, it's something else. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> On the topic of McDonald's, um... I didn't go to one last time, but like... I went out with uh, my brother just to... It was my aunt's birthday, so we went to organize a present, so, you know. Went out. And uh, we got lunch. And uh, his stepdaughter wanted... Wanted McDonald's, so we got a McDonald's, and... Uh, do you, want to t do you want to take a guess as to what the toy was? I can almost guarantee you that you're not going to get it. <laughs> but like a loose description will do. Like you don't, it doesn't have to be exact. But I was like, man, they've really fallen from from grace here. Like evil corporation moment for sure. Forgot what they had last time you went. Well, probably better than what uh, they had on offer here. Let me tell you. This was... I, I can't imagine how this would have been a toy. Like, alright, let me put it this way. I don't know if it's a thing where you are, but like... You can always purchase the toys separately. So you don't have to get the Happy Meal to get the toy. Like, here they allow you to also purchase the toy if you want. On its own. This, this thing, I, I can't, I can't imagine in any universe that the cashier would charge you whatever the amount it was for the toy, because they, they probably just would have given it to you, because it's just like, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't do this in good conscience, I can't actually charge you this amount for this, quote, toy, <laughs> like, I can't do it, it was that bad. I'll tell you what it was. It was a piece of paper. 
it was a piece of paper intended for origami and it had just like a couple of pokemon pictures on it and you're like okay what was the paper good no we're talking about like standard office paper like the cheapest paper you can probably get and it wasn't even perforated so like it had the easy fold lines or anything it was just printed fold lines like you could probably download a template of this somewhere off the internet and print it out yourself. That's what it was. That was the toy. And I can't see how in any universe any McDonald's employee would charge someone $2.50 to purchase this toy on its own. That was the toy. multi-billion dollar corporation single sheet of paper here child have fun use your imagination what i wish i was kidding But, uh, yeah, Mario Amiibos, I would totally go out of my way for them. Last year for the Mario movie, they were doing these, like... I don't know, I think they were made out of cardboard, but pretty sturdy cardboard. Pretty good card. They were like these little 3D models that you could make for the Mario movie. And they had one for the, for the plumbing van. And I was like, oh. That'd be cool. But they didn't have it, so... nothing I can control, really. What is this room? No, okay. Weird. Probably a franchise store that actually printed something they found on the internet. <laughs> Maybe. But you know, she's a good kid. She's she's easy. She she didn't really complain or anything. It was just like, oh, you know, it was a piece of paper, and she did it and was happy. But like all the adults were just like, man, what what is this? This is this is so stingy. This is not a toy. Super Mario Brothers movie toys, what they were called. I mean, those things are probably selling on eBay for quite a bit. We don't get that many good toys at McDonald's here. They're not amiibos, they're just figures, okay. Yeah, okay. They're kind of nice. Ours were like, uh, hang on. I want to see if I can find the ones we had. Yeah, these these were the ones. These were the ones. Yeah. So our ones were like uh, this. 
if you'll excuse the extremely long URL. So they were made out of like paper or a cardboard or something. But a pretty sturdy one nonetheless, and it was just a 3D like model that you make out of it. So, I mean, they look decent. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a fucking sheet of paper. I should have taken a picture of it. <laughs> I need to be taking photos of things that happen in, in real life so I can talk about them on stream. I mean, hang on. Let me see if I can find the picture of it. McDonald's. Australia. Pokemon Origami <sighs> I'm not sure anyone I'm not sure anyone's gonna have a photo of this. I'm hoping someone complains, really. Nice. No, so all all you find is just the uh The Pokemon card Happy Meal. And then a bunch of YouTubers. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this it? No, that's something else. Yeah, okay, don't worry about it. That would have kept you entertained as a kid. What, the, the figurine or the, the stupid <laughs> origami? I mean, I'm sure there are children that don't complain. But, like, in the context of a multi-billion dollar corporation. Something that costs some... That sheet of paper, man. I mean, how much costs would have been associated? And again, it's not like a custom print or anything, right? It's... There was no perforations. It was just standard. Like, it's not like it gave you fold lines or cut lines or anything that had to be taken into account. Nope, this is just like office paper. Maybe if I get on here, it'll reach. The 3D puzzle was cool. Like, I kind of wanted one. But they were at the end of last year, so I couldn't get one. I need to lower it. Okay, how do, how do I lower it? I thought that maybe this bo this block was pushable. Maybe it is. I just complicated it. Hang on. Link, please. It doesn't look like it is. Because I would have gotten the option to push it, I think. Yeah, it's... Okay. I have to have something else in here. I think. Oh, no. This has been undone. Okay. I'm not going to get too hasty. Let's just... See if I can solve this. Is there any way I can do this? I would have thought for sure this was pushable. But it just it just grabs up, like it doesn't
Yeah, it doesn't let you push it. Uh, okay. All the Happy Meal toys growing up for me were, uh, they were just pa plastic figurines. I think the most intricate ones they did, they had, like, McDonald's Transformers. That's the best way to describe them, but they were like a, a Big Mac, fries, a drink, and then they would, you know, you'd open them up and they could become robots. It was during the Transformer craze. So that was probably as intricate as they got, otherwise they were just like standard plastic figurines that didn't really do anything. Can I float from the block, what with the leaf? Yeah, but... Then, how do I get back? Okay, I mean... I guess the statue could go back. Okay. Yeah. No. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. But good. That should have worked. I mean, if I... Okay, I'm going to be a vandal here. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Had, I climbed on one of these before. How'd I do it? Yep. I got, I got up. I got, I got up. I got up. I got up on one of these before. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. This is what I this is what I did as a kid in games. I'd be like, no, I'm not giving up. We don't surrender like that. Okay, so we are high enough. Oh shit, wrong button. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! It's still gonna be an invisible wall. Like, I feel like this whole thing just had this vertical wall that goes all the way up. Like, it, there's anti cheese. I mean, if it works, great. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this was the way to do it. No, no, no. I mean this is surely this is not the way to do it. <laughs> Get dabbed on. Ugh, I was worried that it wasn't going to be able to go through the wall. Okay. It's okay. Imagine the statue just gets destroyed as it goes through the beam. And then I'm just stuck there. You remember having some kind of burger box that turned into a robot when you were four? Huh. I wonder if it was a similar thing. Also, what is... Why... Why... Why? What temple is this? Uh, it's the one where you put the three pearls together and then... It sends you to, like, an island. You have to look it up now. I mean, don't tell me the- Just tell me if that was the way to do it or not. Don't tell me how you were supposed to do it. Uh, maybe it says the name... Hang on. Tower of the Gods. That's what's- That's what it's called. 
Oh, yeah, I turned off links. Hang on, let me fix that. Because there were spam bots before. The only reason confirm is one works is because VIP. Uh, give me a sec. Moderation... Block type links off. Tentatively turned off, but... If it gets out of hand again. Alright, go for it. Should work now. You might have to refresh the stream. Just so you know, sometimes it does take that. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those those were the ones I'm talking about, except we didn't have those ones. Our one, or maybe we did, I don't know. But yeah. No, they were like that. Wait, they were from 1988, though? I definitely... I, I mean, I definitely didn't have those in 1988. Yep. Like, it would have been in the 90s. Like, I was a kid in the 90s. I was not a kid in the 80s. Yep. Maybe... <laughs> maybe they just took that long to get to Australia. They're like, what toys have we got from McDonald's Australia? Oh, we got those toys that we uh, gave out to everyone else eight years ago. Perfect. That'll do. Yep. There seems to be different ones over the years. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they 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 were definitely they were definitely that. They were definitely that. But like, I would have gotten mine in 1994, probably. Let me see. Let me find the exact one that I'm talking about. Yeah, this is the one. Found my one. Oh, I don't need the hash. These are the ones that I had as a kid. Exactly that one. Wait, is there any benefit for me to go down there? You were supposed to leaf over it, then what happened to me? <laughs> Why didn't it work? I guess this is at the end. Not sure why it didn't work for me, because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> that's why it didn't work for me. Really? Okay, well, I have to do this again. How happy we felt that I did it that way, and then turns out, it's like, you idiot. I probably should, should have just tried again.
But yeah, that was as elaborate as our toys got for us, I think. At least growing up for me. Like, I'm not sure beyond that if there were any decent ones. But. That's what I got. They weren't even cool. <laughs> I guess maybe they just were too cheap to license the real Transformers, so they were like, we'll make our own. Kids won't make, won't care about the difference. have an ominous beam of light. Do I have the boat? Yes. Where is here? Now what you do? He won't pick it up. He won't pick it up quick enough. Oh. Did KFC ever do toy meals? For us, they tried for a while, they called it a fun bucket, and then they kind of gave up on it. But you know what? Compared to McDonald's, they kind of had semi-decent stuff. Like, they had these loon gigantic Looney Tune mugs that were pretty good. Not as you recall, huh. They also had it. there was two very short-lived things here. Three, actually, from that era. So, they had the kids' meal, which was the fun bucket. They had buffet, KFC buffet, which, uh, yeah, they got rid of pretty quickly. And then they also used to do roast chicken, like barbecue chicken. Something else that was very short-lived. Didn't like KFC. I mean, fair enough. I think even Burger King tried their hand at kids meals and they didn't really work out either but they from oh no they did yeah they did toy so they they didn't really do toys they kind of did They used to give away glasses. I don't mean like stuff that you put on your face. I mean, you know, drinking glasses. That was their thing. 
so like you could get um simpsons ones that was the big one they did but that was always their rotation was like when you got your drink it would come in a fancy glass and i think they were even hand painted like they they were decent what but you know for as far as a toy goes it's not really a toy Ah, it does work. I guess you just have to wait for it to appear. Kids love fancy painted glasses. <laughs> I mean, that might be facetiously said, but I, I liked my Simpsons glasses. I was sad when mine broke. needed that heart and that thing got in the way. Back in the day, Burger King had Pepsi, not Coke, so you didn't like it. <laughs> you know what? I can, I can agree with that. But I guess there's one... You know the one thing that trips me out is... So I don't like Pepsi, but I like Pepsi Max. And until a few years ago, um, I did not know that America did not have Pepsi Max. I talked about it one day, and the Americans were like, what the heck is Pepsi Max? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? You don't, you don't have Pepsi Max? It's like the best one. It's super popular here that they like have uh, four different flavors of it. And and Pepsi just doesn't really have anything. It's just Pepsi. KFC, okay, here in Australia, defaults to Pepsi Max. At least most stores do in terms of the drink choice. Like, they just assume you want it. You have done well to find this place. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge. Yeah, there's no Pepsi Max in the US. Yeah, there isn't. They have Diet Pepsi, which is not the same thing. <laughs> now they're just slow compared to McDonald's and their restaurants just seem gloomy. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same here. Like, uh, our Burger King is called Hungry Jack's, and it's just... I guess the budget alternative. Coke Zero is default, not a lot of places do Pepsi, huh. Here it's, um, KFC that does Pepsi. And then, uh, Burger King, McDonald's, basically everywhere else is, like, um, Coke. There are some other franchises, like, um, there's these ones that do schnitzels. They're called Schnitz. They do uh, Pepsi products. I'm gonna go with Al. Burger King is more expensive than McDonald's. Uh, here it depends, um, so like, there are certain meals that are more expensive, but then they also have like these budget choices, and the budget choices, the uh, yeah. But I mean, honestly, you can go to pretty good burger places and get, I don't get it. Okay, hang on. 
What, what was I supposed to do there? Probably put a plant in the bomb. not going well. Yeah, okay. So, what happens when I run out of arrows? Am I just boned? So I don't have enough arrows. Oh, okay. That's awfully nice of them. Kind of. It's like, yep. Wait, you have Pepsi Zero, Black Hand and everything. You used to call it Pepsi Max, but don't anymore. And it sounds like countries left out of Pepsi Max. Right, okay. Then why were people perplexed when I was talking about Pepsi Max if it did exist at some point? Huh, I don't know. I've run out of arrows. So, you're gonna have to go through this again. It was changed very long ago. Okay. Interesting. Fifteen. That's not that long ago. I mean, I like, I like to think it's not lo not that long ago, but <laughs> it's like eight years. The path can now be opened. A chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate. Something. Go forward with caution. Max is an awful name for a diet drink. You can see why they changed it. I mean, the marketing here was it was just maximum taste, no sugar. They didn't want to imply that it was like a. A drink for when you go on a diet? Like, I don't know. I didn't put. I just walked into the portal without grabbing the heart. <laughs> shit. Can I go back? Oh, shit. Well. I wish I had a Pepsi Max now for this maximum fuck up. Ah! 
What do? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. I feel like that shouldn't be allowed in Zelda games. Just force you to take the heart. What? Ah, uh, okay. So, cool. What do I do? <laughs> I mean, in more ways than one. Rope the bell. Okay. Ah. I have. To, I have to go through. But there were a couple of rooms that kind of remained unanswered for me. So. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. You have done well, Link. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you see shimmering in the ways before you, your true trial will begin. Are you ready? No, 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 no! <laughs> ah! Put me back! You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain to you, to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtained in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words, see what awaits you in the castle. Um... <laughs> can, can, I, can I please go back? Hey, boat. Let's let's go back. I think I can go back. Cool. Well, fuck me then.
I mean, this is just a very temporary thing. It appears we have been frozen in time. Cool look, though. Hey. Alright, Link. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly, se firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You'll find a clue in the shape of heraldry near where we arrived in the castle. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Or is this something intuitive enough that I don't even need to look? <laughs> the facial expression on Link right now is uh, most definitely... Whoa. What is this? Oh no, yeah. That, that makes sense. Like, it's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Oh, no. Well, this is- this is going to be fun. What? Okay. And then, okay, uh, yep, and then, okay, and now, I may have overcomplicated it just a little bit. Okay, last piece. I'm so annoyed that I have to go back through that dungeon. <laughs> I still can't get over it. Very cool. Hey. 
Excellent, Link. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. And take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Bane's Evil, or Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the above. Yeah, the world above. Okay, cool. You do not possess enough hearts to take out the blade, my boy. Why is that? Oh, no. Well, this is problematic. I mean, it's not problematic when you grab the heart and the heart heals you. At this point, I'm supposed to have full health. Classic music. You got the Master Sword, the legendary, legendary blade with the power to repel evil once wielded by the legendary hero himself. <laughs> Very cool. There may be some secret heals here somewhere. Oh, it's like the sages from, uh... Yeah, that's cool. What? Why would you want the character to heal now? You should have full health. Plan B. I had a plan B. Okay. And then, alright. I mean, honestly, how was I to know that that was going to be an electric for fired body at the door? new weapons. Oh, 
none of them are dropping items. Aww. Oh, crap. That's not cool. going well. No, get it! Got it. I need more of those. This is, uh, yeah, not going in my favor. I'd have to go back to track <laughs> or something like that. Ugh. I'm so annoyed. Nice electric fence there. Okay. 
But this is nothing, right? Like, you can't go here. Yeah. Okay. I got confused because, like, this seems like it's an exit. Which it is. It's just, why does it let you come out here? We're out of here. <laughs> Please let me fix. Okay, I think we can fix it. Good lord. Is this like other Zelda games where, uh, there's like a magical teleportation beam that takes you straight to the end. Or do I really have to like do all this shit again? <laughs> okay, but I guess this time. Oh my god, not again. Wait, can I just... Oh wait, the door's open, the door's open, the door's open. Should be doing that to those birds as well every time to get feathers. Oh, whoops. Damn it. Oh, got it. <laughs> Link, what are you doing back here? Oh, that is so whatever. Okay. I'm not going to allow that to happen again. I'm going to be extra careful when I beat a boss. Okay. Uh, where, where are we setting sail to now? Is that Beetle's ship? I think that's Beetle's ship. I should probably pop in. I'm just 
just buy some stuff because otherwise I'm going to find money and then have no use for it, so. Oh, a bottle. Pirates sold me bombs for cheap. Now's your chance. Bye, bye, bye. By the way, Mr. Customer, are you acquainted with that adorable little pirate girl? You have a bashful look on your face, Mr. Customer. You can't hide it from me. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Do you have an empty bottle? Oh. But I don't get to keep the bottle. Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Bye! I mean, whatever. I spent some money. There's a fish over there. I'm gonna go see the fish. I'm going to be this lazy. Just treasure in the distance as well, so... Maybe I should stop being lazy now. I guess it's the opposite. There. Yeah. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart and information about this island. All right. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you've faded to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate are none other than the lucky items known as Triumph Forks. Yeah, there's some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn about the Triumph Forks, talk to the guy Tingle. What? Now, it may only be a fish, but, uh, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. Yeah, another collectible. What? There we go. It wouldn't let me do it for some reason. gonna be money again.
The thing is, I've had a hot piece before, and it's just... I have to keep checking. Okay, hang on. Now where am I gonna go? There was that island they were talking about where you have the auction at night. Um... What island was that? I can't remember if it was Dragon Roost or Outset. Anyway, um, let's just head to Dragon Roost since it's closer. Uh... Oh yeah, I should be able to do that thing now. To teleport, maybe. I would assume it's the bow and arrow. No? Okay. It's only because there's a wind sail that I can get that's uh, better. And if I was to take a guess, a heart piece as well. It seems likely. Do I have this island's map? Apparently not, so... Oh, no. Wait, the auction? Damn it. I can find out what island it is. I'll give you 10 arrows for that bow of yours. Oh. Okay. This is different. gonna get trickier. Yeah. Damn it! Gyra aim. I can't believe I missed that one. I missed only one. What's the deal, small fry? You can only hit me nine times? Oh well. Nah, I'm good. Okay.
can't believe I missed it. Not that it would have mattered anyway, but like I have 500 rupees, so... What am I going to do with the money it gave me, honestly? It's not Dragon Roost Island, I just realized. Because that's where the birds are, so it is windfall. I suppose let's see what this island over here is. Oh, it's a volcano. Never mind. There is a fish over there, so I'll go say hi. covered. You see that volcano there that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside that has been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That has the power to freeze anything inside. One square north and four squares west, so it's like, here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a lead. Whoops. I was going to say, I'm probably going to miss the auction anyway, so. I'm going to try and fill in the map as much as I can. That island over there, I would imagine that's where you fill up the square coming up. see any fish. I've already been to this one over here. Wait, have I? No. What is this?
What on earth? To reach Dragon Roost Island, head east from here. Yeah, but like. Wait, why am I blocking? Oh, you gotta put it away. There we go. <laughs> Just jump into the ominous pit. Ugh. Stop finding these chests, they're going to waste. Okay, that was more worth it. There's more here. Let me get some more money. No, okay, fine. I think we're good. Yeah, not what I was expecting from this island, I guess. There is a fish over there. Must get the fish. Small fry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what a choo choo is, small fry? It's a train. No, I'm talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. I'm not talking about it, I'm talking about choo choos. The, the slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly stand up and start jumping at you like crazy when you come near them. Well, in any case, there's lots of them on that island over there, so if you see any, I'd avoid them. They get nasty. Now, now that I think about it, once every in a while, I see the potion brewer who lives on Windfall Island come here. Now, why would he do that? Keep heading along. Mm. 
All right, so I guess if, as long as I continue in this direction, I'll hit the island that it was talking about. You know what, I may as well stop at Windfall. Since we're here, why not? I can go see the teacher and try and give the, uh, the butterfly thingies. I wonder if what's-his-face got... got freed from his ropes. See what he has to say. Welcome, yes. Welcome to you. Welcome to the bomb shop. Now go on, look around. Oh, now they're fair priced? He just discovered he has a kink. <laughs> I mean, smiling ear to ear. So now I can control the wind. Where's the ladder? Oh no, it's here. It's not, it's not a ladder either, it's, I gotta do this. No wait, no I do need the ladder. I need to go push the button. Where is it? I, I know there's a ladder somewhere. Ah, here it is. Didn't they say... Dang, let's try the opposite. What? Uh, let's try... North? No, it's a south wind. Maybe. Oh no, there it is, north wind. Okay.
that other person was throwing me off saying, yeah, what do you mean? West wind. Yeah. There's a west wind coming in. You should go, go do it. West wind. Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? The ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Someone must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who or what it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy, assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing as to how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. Okay. Wielder of the flaming arrow, when you appear, the lighthouse signal shall return. Damn it. Can't I just- oh shit! <laughs> Knees shattered. Um... I was gonna say, can't I just throw a bomb in there? Wouldn't it achieve the same thing? Like, explosions have fire. No, no, no. Reception counter? What? Oh, here. This dude's annoying. Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale at last. With those funds, I've been able to open my stall. But I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it's rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For I, if I'm to be honest, I only have one product. To put it another way, I think if my stall could do much better, if only I could stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that's what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money, it would be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help develop this town and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper pers perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out, a real go-getter. Yes, yes, Master. Now that I take a longer look at you, I see that you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a hero of delivery. I have a small request and it requires the use of that bag. A request? Oh dear me, I knew it, Master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear, it, hear me out. My stall is kind of a general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products at inexpensive prices and then selling them, with a reasonable markup, of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. I am a master of sale. I just need to get some new products. Could you not seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply, supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it is just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All I need for you to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is a proof of a contract. That is to say, it is the Merchant's Oath. That is what we call it, yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a Merchant's Oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So, as you succeed in trading my products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? Okay. Yes, yes, young master, now you are my new salesman. No, no, scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Dear me, yes. I give to you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. Town flower. If you find a place to set this rather small flower, choose your delivery bag. 
The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something to build on the foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you trade with will send products to my shop, thereby increasing my product line, which will make me happy. Well, your new trading partners, the traveling merchants, are waiting for you somewhere out on the Great Sea. My dear, my expectations are high. Cool. So, capitalism, huh? Talk to me. Okay. Yo, the killer bees. Hang on. I guess they were looking for something of a fierce name. They sort of failed spectacularly, if you ask me. Must be nice to be young. Okay, but like, what I'm going to do... <gasps> My dear, did you bring any joy pendants yet again? How many do you have right now? Fifteen? Hmm, well, it's not quite enough, but if you could collect 20 of them, I could give you something splendid. Well, I thought it was just 10. It's not just in my nature to do such scrounging for joy, but you can do it, can't you? Please wrap me in pure joy with 20 of those delightful things. I could have sworn it was 10. Or maybe the other one's 10. I don't know. Anyway. I guess we're 5 off. Um, I need to make it night time. So I may have to go out on my boat for a little while. Yep. I needed to head out in this direction anyway, so... Oh yeah, I changed the wind direction, but this should still work. <laughs> I don't have to change it. Yeah. Ah. I can't believe I've already been playing this for two and a half hours at most. <laughs> it's... Time flies. I'm not going to touch that treasure. It's just going to be money, and I'm going to be sad that it's money. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm here, fish. Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you. Oh. It's like a blood moon. I'm not sure this was the island they were talking to about. There might be one more tile across. Also, I think it's night time now, which I should probably head back to the other island. Oh. 
What on earth? I'm already closed to the- Ah! Ah! It's because it's night time. Okay, we'll have to come back. I'm gonna go back to uh, the other island for the auction. Just to make it quicker. Okay, now we just let it do it. Let it do its thing. Yeah, I honestly wish there was other stuff to do whilst sailing across the ocean. It's okay, we're nearly there. Thankfully, it's not a long trip. Okay, so they gather in the rich person's house, and then, yeah. I think, which one is it? Is it this one? Well now, good evening. Yes, yes, I rent out the first floor of this mansion in order to run the nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever. Now, it is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it in more simple terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Oh yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. So tell me, would you like to participate? Mm-hmm. Really? Dear me, really? Now, you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction, are you? Am I correct in assuming this? I'm fine. Good, that speeds things up. Very well then, let us begin immediately. No time to dawdle, the auction is afoot. On your toes, on your toes. What on earth is this? Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes, and what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. Let's go get to it. Uh, this evening, our glorious auction item is this. Oh, cool. Fabulous piece of heart. Oh dear me, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over, but the drama aside, you should know, it is extremely rare to even get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, yes, yes. Listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Opening bid at 80 rupees. And... Begin. Eighty. Eighty-three rupees. Eighty-six rupees? What? Our current top bidder is none other than the esteemed Pompey. The bid is 86 rupees, but I won't let it stop there. 
90 rupees. Ninety-three rupees. Stop it! <laughs> Ninety-seven. One hundred and four. Okay, just just let it go for a while. Hundred and eleven. Why won't it let me bid? Maybe I should have read an explanation. Okay. I'm looking this up. <laughs> uh, wind. Like a auction game. How do you how do you do this? Yeah, but how do you place a bid? Don't touch it. This is super confusing, but I'm gonna trust what I just read. this money. Oh my god. Stop it! I want this. I want- I don't want to lose this. Incredible. Everyone is struck speechless at Link's bid. Ah, are you serious? What a brat. Stun locked. Yeah, me. Let me just say congratulations. Worth it. My dear, how incredible that such a youngster walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. That kid was a bidding machine right up to the end. Now on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, 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 for you not so lucky ones, let me just say thank you for the participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people. Thank you very much. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to come back. But, cool. Cool that it was the heart piece right away. And now I have a purpose to get money again. Would you like to participate in the auction? Um, hey Laura, what's up? How's it going? Hang on. 
Mm, not. I should probably get more money. I'll get more money. Money. Wonder if this is available. Did I beat a thousand hits? No, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try. That's like a waste of time. work for you? I can't buy that. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright. Never mind. I guess does not interested in my trade. Okay, now I can go get this treasure chest. Yeah, I think the only thing you get for a thousand hits is just that bragging right thing. I don't think you get an item at all. If one attempt didn't take, like, 30 minutes, probably be more incentive to do it, but I'm good. Okay. Uh, so now I'm gonna head west again. Wait. Ah! There we go. Okay. How's your weekend going anyway, Laura? Got much on. Am I set? Oh, I'm not even setting sail. I can just chill here for like a couple of minutes whilst it sails me across. News mm -mm. Diablo season dropped today, but you've been chilling. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, they're doing quite a bunch of stuff. As it's Diablo 4 is going to be out when they do the next one, so figured they'd do a bunch of big stuff. I haven't checked that out. <laughs> That's probably the island it was referring to. I might not be able to do anything because it looks like it's up high. I don't have to share your link, like, I know what your link is. Unless you're trying to do promotion, which naughty naughty, that's like a rule that is part of the chat here. What is this thing?
Is this a Goron? Yeah, it's a Goron. I'm what they call a traveling merchant. Oh, cool. Just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts, new and old and strange and unsettling. I detect scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. But the high rock wall on the main island blocks my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to get much further. What a disagreeable turn of events. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might be home to some rare and unique items. If you have any curious that might be worth of selling in a shop, might you trade them to me? Someday I'm going to open myself a shop, a huge shop. No, a mega superstore. I'm trying to find goods to sell, so can you show me what you've got on you? Okay, cool. Huh? Why is that? Town flower? Okay. In that case, would you be interested in trading for this sea flower? Sure. Most agreeable. Then my fee will be, yeah. That'll be 20 rupees on the knot. Yeah, Alright, do it. Thanks, that squares us. Here's your item as promised. Hold out both of your hands. Okay. Excellent. So from this moment forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to Windfall Island Shop. Thanks again. Okay, well. I mean, I won't be able to get up there, but at the very least... I guess... I've got to start on this. Alright, I'm gonna go get the map for this area. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart information about this island and start by opening up your sea chart. They say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, small fry. Oh. Is there a whirlwind? There is, but... Okay, hang on. Oh. Why won't you aim? Got ya. Ha! That's what you get. That's a heck of an arm you got there. And what an eye. No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker. Let's see if you can handle this. What is this? Wait, he went down, up, left, right. No? Up, down, left, right. Up, down. Show me again! It's gonna be one of these combinations. Yes, please. Okay. Down, right left up. Down, right, left up. Okay. 
down, right, left, up. In the hands of a wind waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over ocean deeps, just call on my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head home for now. See you on down the road. Okay, so now I have fast travel. too far. Oh, got it. Hooray. I might head back to the island and try and do another auction, so hang on. That way, and... I want to try and get the quality of life sail. The one that didn't exist in the original. <laughs> that lets you sail around quicker. This is open. This is open. It's daytime. Uh, never mind, my mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why not give this a shot? 50 rupees per... Uh, 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 Alright. So, ho ho. You're, so you're the little shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting hotshot, yeah? And you say this knowing full well that we pirates are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when they step into the room. Ha! This should be funny. Fine then, hotshot. If you can manage to sink five pirate ships you see off the horizon, we'll acknowledge your skills with a cannon, you shrimpy little land lubber. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ship looks like barrels. And you only get ten shots. Uh-oh. Okay. I guess. I mean, as long as I can take my time. Okay, so that's my frame of reference. There's probably a guide on how to do this properly. Oh, I have messed this up quite clearly. 
Okay, and then this one should be almost identical. Three shots to get this in. <laughs> All right, now. Oh, lower, lower, lower. Sixteen degrees, please. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Wow, nice shooting. But we don't hand over our priceless treasure so easily, yeah. Miss, hey miss! Hey! Gonzo! You're at least an honorary member of my family, are you not? So act like it, don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid, I like you. As we promise, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it. Okay, excellent. Alright, nice job and all that. You can leave via the ladder behind you, climb down in an orderly manner if you please. Okay. Well, the unfortunate thing is I've kind of lost my auction funds now, so... Whatever. Link, get, get the money! <laughs> get the money! Okay. We need the money. Okay, uh, and onwards. <laughs> oh yeah, treasure. Okay, maybe I will have my auction funds. Too far. <laughs> I don't know why the suspense, it's just, it's always, it's always this. Other way. I just gotta sail around until nighttime hits. I don't know if this this classified as night. Oh, there's treasure over there. Yeah, let's go do that. This is definitely night time now.
Hey now, here again. So, tell me. Would you like to participate in the auction? Yes. Really, dear me, really? Now, you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction. Yes, now I am. Good, that speaks things up. <laughs> okay. What have you got tonight? Please be the sale. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes, and what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Well, dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose turn. Or run. Let's get to it. This evening, our glorious auction item is... Please... Uh, uh. I don't want to pay that much for this, so... I'm just gonna let this go. <laughs> I don't I don't care about the treasure map. Oh I, I can end it. Cancel. Yes. Oh cool. Oh no, cool. Yeah, okay, I don't have to sit through this. Alright, let's see if maybe another item appears. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Hopefully it changes the item. Thanks. I suppose it's like a one in four. Try and get through this as quick as possible. Ah. <laughs> this feels like when I was trying to get the boomerang in Oracle of Ages, I just had to keep... Being patient, and then hoping that it appears. It's just random as random. Let's see, so... There's quite a bit of, uh... I guess it's a 1 in 5 chance that it's the sailboat. Sail. I'm gonna be here for an hour, aren't I? No. I love how the child has the common sense to be like, treasure map? Nah. Bye. All the adults are like, ooh, treasure map.
Okay, so... Uh... I've heard this is the matter. Keep the price low. So, average is like, if you're paying about 300 for the sale, it's good. So we'll see if we can get that. Just have to wait until he says five seconds left. Stop it! <laughs> I mean, so far it's, it's okay. There isn't much time left. Hang on. After he announces only five seconds left. Okay. So that's what he has to say. We just have to wait. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, it says bid at least 10% higher. So 10% would be like 20 rupees. So let's just take it to 220. Okay. I think we got this. Pretty cheap. Not bad. I think the heart piece cost me more. Alright, cool. Dear me, let me just say congratulations! Thanks to expert sail making craftsmanship, your ship can now sail faster than ever. And what's better, whenever you use it, a favorable wind will always be at your back. No need to manually change wind direction! the quality of life that this game needed. Okay. There we go. Okay. Getting around is going to be much better with this. Excellent. Um, there is other stuff, but I don't, I don't think I have the funds to kind of try and get it. I'll get the treasure chart, just maybe not now. Um, you know what? Now's a good time to save, I think. It's been three hours, so. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. I did a dungeon. <laughs> it's, so, it's fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna... Do a small two to five minute intermission chat. I'm just gonna refill my bottle of water and stretch for a little bit. And, uh, set up so I can play Kirby because I've got to put the HDMI cable into the Switch, so. Give me a couple of minutes to do that, but if you're here for Wind Waker HD, thanks for watching as always. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Appreciate you checking it out. And do hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Alright, I'll be back shortly, but otherwise, YouTube, bye. See ya.